What's up Elite Thenx Athletes, it's Chris Herrio. Welcome to another Thenx video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a 10 minute workout to replace your treadmill. The treadmill is a convenient tool that a lot of people love to use, but is it really the most effective, efficient, and convenient way to burn calories in the shortest amount of time? The amount of calories burned during an exercise will always slightly differ depending on your age, gender, height, weight, and intensity of what you're doing your exercise. But in general, using the treadmill at a speed of two to three miles per hour for 10 minutes is gonna burn 35 to 40 calories. On the other hand, high intensity interval training or HIIT training, which can be done with no equipment, will burn 150 calories or more in the same amount of time. That's more than three times the amount of calories you're gonna burn within the same amount of time using the treadmill. And with high intensity interval training, not only are you gonna be burning more calories, but you're gonna be building more muscle and increasing your overall athleticism in comparison to being on the treadmill, burning less calories and building little to no muscle in the same amount of time. And HIIT training has an afterburn effect that's gonna allow you to continue to burn extra calories throughout the day, even after you've finished your workout routine. Making HIIT training overall more effective, more efficient, and more convenient than the treadmill for burning calories and a whole lot more like building muscle simultaneously in the same amount of time. Most conveniently, it can be done anywhere. So if you're ready to get this workout started, make sure you download the Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Open up to the YouTube workout section. You should find this routine and we're ready to go. This workout routine is structured just like as if you were to jump on the treadmill. We're gonna start off with something really light, allowing our body to warm up and then fluctuate high and moderate intensities after each exercise. Now each exercise will be going for 45 seconds straight with a 15 second break in between. This is gonna allow us to train high intensity for intervals of time, creating that afterburn effect. This workout can be done as a complete beginner or an advanced athlete. What determines the difficulty of this exercise is the intensity of what you do it. So go at your own pace. Don't focus on how many you're doing, just focus on how well you're doing them. And if you're feeling fatigued or you feel like you need to stop at any moment, the best thing to do is to try to slow down and go as slow as possible, but try not to stop. Of course, if you do, go ahead and do so. Take a second to catch your breath and then jump right back in. You really wanna save your rest for the 15 second break that comes in between each exercise. And as I said, we'll be doing each exercise for 45 seconds, but if you're a complete beginner, you can just start off doing 20 seconds each exercise, 30 or even 40 seconds each exercise. The whole point is that you're progressing the more you do it. And if there's an exercise that you may come across during the workout routine that you may find too difficult, don't worry, I'm always gonna give a progression. So with that said, if you're ready to get started, the very first exercise is gonna be a warm up move. We're gonna go for high knee runs for 45 seconds. We're gonna bring our knees to our elbows. Let's go for it. Here we go. Last couple ones. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, take a second to cool down. We're gonna drop down to the ground. Next exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be mountain climbers. Let's get into a push-up position. Remember, you wanna be going at your own pace and keeping perfect form. Knee as high as you can, back down, alternate. So if you're already feeling fatigued, you can go ahead and slow down. If you're still feeling fresh, pick up the intensity. I always say this, but it's super important. Make sure you're regulating your breathing. Breathing in through your nose, and then out through your mouth. Slow and controlled. Four seconds in, five seconds out. Here we go, last couple reps. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's get back on our feet. The next exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be burpees without jumping. If you're watching and you have trouble with burpees or you can't do a push-up, just get into a push-up position. You can jump or you can bring in one foot at a time, stand back up, and then go back into the push-up position. Everyone else, I want you to do a push-up. Stand up. Remember to pace yourself. Do it as perfect as possible. 
Every rep should look just like your first one. Here we go, last couple reps. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, moving on to the next exercise, high side plank raises. So let's get back into a push-up position. Get on your side. We're gonna do 22 seconds for each side. Giving you one second to transfer over, total of 45 seconds. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Switch, all the way down, all the way up. Make sure you have a really good grip on the ground. Squeeze your core. Now this isn't as intense as the last exercise, but you're definitely burning calories and as you can see, it's more of like an active rest. But we're still keeping up the intensity, we're still moving. That's time and we're building muscles simultaneously and engaging more muscles as well. Now the next exercise we're gonna go into is gonna be a Russian twist. So let's go ahead and take a seat. So we're gonna bring our feet up, ankles tight together, legs straight, core tight, touch one side, touch the other side. Keep it going. If it's too difficult to keep your legs straight, you can try bending them, but the straighter your legs are, the more you're engaging your core. After this exercise, we're halfway there. Keep it up, guys. Let's go, last 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's get back up. Next exercise we're gonna get into, we're gonna bring up the intensity with switching lunges. Now this is a plyo exercise, meaning that we're gonna be jumping, switching in between our lunges. So if you can't jump, you can always just walk it out, come back up, walk it out. For everyone else, I want you switching. Keep your core tight, hands up. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's get back down on the ground. Go ahead, take a second, catch your breath. We're gonna go push up side to side. So go ahead and take a second, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's get into a push-up position. You can do a push-up, move to this other side, do a push-up and so forth. If you can't do a push-up, just move side to side. You can also do this on an elevated surface if you want to do a push-up, but yet don't have the strength. As you build your strength, you can lower the elevated surface. Eventually, you build the strength to do it on the ground just like this. Ten seconds left. Five, four. Three, two, one. Whew, I'm already dripping in sweat. Next exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be jumping jacks. And then we just have two more exercises, so hang in there. Let's go for some jumping jacks at your own pace.
Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right. Next, we have in and outs, and then one last exercise to go. So let's get down to a push-up position. You're going to jump in, and you're going to jump out. If you're just getting started, do little jumps. Let's go for it. 45 seconds. Everything you got. Squeeze your core. Squeeze your arms. Squeeze your grip on the floor. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, we're down to the last and final exercise. That's going to be side to side jump squats. If you're an absolute beginner, you can go ahead and squat side to side. Everyone else, I want to see you give it everything you got. Feeling fatigued, of course, you can just do less of a jump, more of a hop. Here we go ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, there we go. Already drenched in sweat in just 10 minutes. Burning way more calories in the treadmill and simultaneously building muscle. And because we had high intensity interval training, we're gonna continue to burn additional calories throughout the day, even after we finish working out. Getting us way more shredded and closer to our goals on a daily basis. So if you enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want the next video to be about. Share this video with a friend that wants a workout to replace the treadmill. And remember to get this workout on your phone and more just like it, getting you in the best shape of your life. Make sure to go to thenx.com, sign up and become a member and get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are gonna have you in the best shape of your life. And make sure you download the Thenx app in the App Store to take our workouts with you everywhere and join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world. And if you've been watching Thenx videos and you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. We post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some free Thenx gear. And for more of my content during the week, make sure you're following my vlog channel. That's youtube.com slash Chris Heria. And make sure you're following me on Instagram almost every single post I always do some type of giveaway if you want a chance to be a part of that make sure you're following me on IG and with that said I'll see you next Sunday mad love peace out